Coffeezilla wants to pause Logan Paul's lawsuit? Wait, what? All right, guys, we got ourselves a new update to the Logan Paul versus CoffeeZilla lawsuit that I wanted to cover in today's video. So okay. CoffeeZilla's lawyers are fighting back big time, and they actually uncovered something that I find to be hilarious, okay? CoffeeZilla's lawyers, what they're saying is Logan Paul, they are asking that the lawsuit be paused or delayed because what they are saying is that Logan Paul actually broke Texas state law by filing this lawsuit. Wait, he broke Texas state law? Wait, how? Like, what? Put in the comment section, how did he break it? Gets CoffeeZilla, and it turns out that they're actually right. That's right. I no know way. this sounds crazy, but yes, by Logan Paul filing this lawsuit, he actually broke Texas state law. And so CoffeeZilla's lawyers are saying, well, because he violated this statute right here, we are asking for uh, the lawsuit to be paused or delayed until he follows Texas state law. Let's go ahead and break. No way. Wait, wait. So he, he must have filed something wrong. Law is a very complicated thing to understand because you need, don't you need to use different court cases to actually um make your court case right i don't know i might be wrong laws look a little complicated it's kind of hard to understand <laughs> i'm not gonna lie unless you're a lawyer and i feel like even if you're a lawyer you got to do a lot of studying and prep work and stuff to understand it but it's just like way too much but let's see why he uh broke the law break that down here's the lawsuit right here here's the updated paperwork this came out i believe september 5th uh so about a few days ago and so here's what they are saying right here here is the argument okay well, I'll just read this top part. Defendants filed his verified plea in abatement and in support thereof would respectfully uh, show the following. So then here's the argument. Plaintiff Logan Paul sued defendants Stephen uh, and Coffee Break uh, Productions LLC for defamation per se. Okay. The Defamation Mitigation Act provides that a person may maintain an action for defamation only if the person has made a timely and sufficient request for a correction, clarification, or retraction from the defendant or the defendant has made a correction, clarification, or retraction, and then they actually give the statute. This is the statute uh -oh. right here. This is the uh, statute in Texas under the uh, Texas state law. And it okay. says here, under the statute, a request for a correction, clarification, or retraction is sufficient if it is served on the publisher. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we're not going to read the whole lawsuit. But what we are going to do is we're going to go to the actual statute. See, okay. here is the statute right here that they referenced. Uh, in the filing paperwork in the call to pause the lawsuit. So what it says here is that under Texas state law, under the statute that they just named, the person has made a timely and sufficient request. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me read the top. <laughs> okay. Request for correction, clarification, or retraction. Mm. A person may maintain an action for defamation only if. Okay. One. The person has made a timely and sufficient request for a correction, clarification, or retraction from the defendant, or the defendant has made a correction, clarification, or retraction, or B, uh, a request for a correction, clarification, or retraction is timely if made during the period of limitation for commencement of an action for defamation. And then okay. under C, that's very key as well. It says, if not later... Then the 90th day after receiving knowledge of the publication, the person does not request a correction, clarification, or retraction. The person may not recover uh, the damages. Okay. So it was over. It was definitely past 90 days, right, guys? Wasn't it past 90 days because it was like over a year? It wasn't a year and a half. So he cannot, he cannot um, request correction, clarification, or retraction and for exemplary damages so like if it's not later than 90 days if not later than the 90 days after receiving knowledge okay that makes more sense okay basically punitive damages now let me go ahead and actually kind of explain this because they got all this legal language but let me just explain this in just like simple english here so basically what they're saying is a person who believes that they were defamed must first make a timely and adequate request for a correction, clarification, or retraction from the defendant mm. uh, before they can file a lawsuit. So what CoffeeZilla's lawyers are literally arguing is they're telling you, hey, guys, it literally says in Texas state law that you have to request a retraction or correction or clarification. You can't just file a lawsuit. That's not how oh. this works in the state of Texas, which, by the way, 
I got to be honest, Texas is kind of amazing. So, yeah, according to Texas state law, you cannot file a lawsuit for defamation against somebody unless you go out to them first, reach out to them first, and request a correction clarification, which, by the way, guys, I actually think that that's the way it should work. So that's kind of crazy. So if you realize this, Logan Paul, because so like this is the whole thing. Theorization, theorization, not not making a statement. Logan Paul wanted to not have Coffeezilla make the video about if you guys didn't know, there's this you know that you know that uh card company that he had that you can own uh fifty or forty nine percent if you could be uh you can own forty nine percent of his Pokemon card that he bought and he put it on the website, right? Actually, um, they're the people who own that company, not Logan Paul, but the people that were the CEO or the, the owners of that company actually were embezzling money outside Canada. So now Canada is having a a case against them. The Canadian the actually the government of Canada. So this is the thing. This is the thing. So and this is all theorization. I could be wrong about any of these things. You, you double check your research. This is what I've heard. I might be wrong. You guys need to realize that is super bad. So he wanted to, one, silence Coffeezilla because he didn't want him to release a video about that. And then, because he wanted to, because Coffeezilla was like, hey, I'm going to release this video. I'm giving you 24 hours. They, well, within that 24 hours, they have a lawsuit. So, like, basically now they need, they need their, they need 90 days. I think it needs to be past, it says past 90 days. So they need 90 days to send you something. And basically if you, you need to know about it for over 90 days and then you can send it in court. They didn't do that. They just did it without at, like basically telling Coffeezilla. So this is kind of bad. This is really bad for Logan Paul. And Coffeezilla needs to realize, can be like, hey, he can like, I don't know if Coffeezilla could sue him back for like trying to silence him. Um, but... I don't know. It's just it's just a lot of things that it's really bad. And I feel like Logan Paul is using his money and power to like trying to like bring Coffeezilla down. But like I don't know if that's gonna work because he did break the law. So like maybe the lawsuit gets dropped, maybe the lawsuit gets paused. We have no idea. It needs to wait 90 days. So let's keep watching to see basically what's gonna happen. But I feel like Logan Paul is at fault here. Um he might not be a bad guy in real life. You see what I'm saying? We like he might be actually a very good person when you meet him in real life. Like I might meet him and then like we'll, we become friends. But what I see online, what I see, what all the facts that have been shown, it's been very bad in his favor. I understand why he does certain things during situations, but other things I do not understand. And I feel like it's just like one bad management or bad, um, not bad manager, like not his manager, but like people around him. Too many yes men. Like he needs to understand that he needs to have people that fight against him. I feel like Mike Malak was one of those people that was good because he always like was also like the other side of Logan Paul's brain. Like he would be like, no, don't do this, don't do that. But you also would be he also agree with him in certain situations. I might be wrong, but like I don't think Mike and him are like they're still close, but I don't think they hang out all the time. So like I don't know. Logan Paul is a superstar. Like this doesn't really hurt him at all. We already know this, but like it's still kind of weird. That is kind of how you prevent, not not fully prevent, but I think it's a great stepping stone in trying to prevent a lot of these frivolous lawsuits, which everybody and their freaking grandmother knows. That is exactly what Logan Paul is doing here. This is a frivolous lawsuit. Let me read more of kind of what this is saying. Uh, basically, it also says that if a person doesn't request a correction, clarification, or retraction within 90 days of discovering uh, the defamation or the defamatory you know, video or whatever they're claiming, they cannot recover punitive damages, okay. which will be awarded until they do that. So mm. that immediately makes me ask one simple question, right? Logan Paul hired these super fancy, super expensive lawyers, right? As a okay. matter of fact, he actually hired like five lawyers, literally. In the, in the very first paperwork of the lawsuit, which you could go on court listener and look at, the very first filing when Logan Paul initially filed the lawsuit against Coffeezilla, there's like five lawyers on there. He hired all the, and they're all fancy. They're all expensive. They're all fancy. Some of them have represented. Put in the comment section, how much do you think he paid for these lawyers? He had to pay over 100K, easy. For five, maybe 200. But if you have money like that, that is very dangerous against someone else. Like, it's hard. Five premium lawyers, five of the best lawyers in the industry. That's kind of bad. It, like high profile clients, whatever. So I just want to ask a simple question. Logan Paul hired who are supposed to be very competent, yeah. sophisticated, very intelligent lawyers, right? So how could the lawyers have filed this lawsuit 
and not know that it specifically says in Texas state law that you cannot sue for defamation uh. unless you request a clarification or correction. You guys are trying to tell me mm. that Logan Paul's lawyers didn't know that. I feel like they just wanted to silence him. Like I said, they just wanted to silence uh, Kyvie Zilla. There is a there is a here, not a statement. But it's just kind of weird that like you guys need you guys need to say that. Like I don't know. I just think it's a little weird. They're just trying to make a power move at the same time. Of course they knew. Of course they knew this. Unless. Like, also, they also have interns working for them. So, like, if you didn't know, like, I'm not an expert on this, but, like, law firms, they have, like, interns and the people working on the case doing research for the main lawyers on the case. Um, but at the same time, they do as well. They just check different things. But, like, it's kind of it's kind of crazy that, that like, they just try to silence them, bro. I just keep going back to the same thing. It's just they try to silence Coffee Zill because they did not want him to release the video. Logan Paul's pretty smart at the same time, though. They can drop the lawsuit and then he has to refile. Does he have to refile or he's just going to put it on pause and he has to get a clarification? I don't know. Of course they knew that. Mm. Of course they did. I have no doubt in my mind that Logan Paul's lawyers probably saw this statue because that's what lawyers are trained to do. Before you do that, you might want to look at the Texas state law first mm. so you can find things like this. Mm. He hired, excuse me, um, he hired five lawyers. I have no doubt in my mind that at least one or two, maybe all of them, looked at Texas state law, at the statutes, and found this statute. They either, A, told Logan Paul, and Logan Paul said, I don't care. F find a workaround. I will pay you whatever you want. Get this guy off my back. Because remember, Coffee's Ali exposed in his response video to the lawsuit. He exposed that the main reason why Logan Paul is suing him is because Coffee's Ali was literally texting Logan Paul and going after him again. Yeah. Coffeezilla uncovered another scummy thing that Logan Paul did regarding Exactly. We don't know. We do not know. We do not know if he was part of the all the stuff that's happening with the card company and all that and and another one of his businesses being fraudulent. You see what I'm saying? We do not know. Whoever is introducing them to these people, please, please fire that person. Or whoever these people are not good. But you guys gotta realize is is that Logan Paul, <laughs> he's like, screw CoffeeZilla. I am not trying to be torn down, destroyed by the media, blah, blah, blah. So I am basically going to say is I'm going to I'm gonna sue this man. I'm going to sue him to the ground. And the thing is that Co Logan Paul even praised him on video. And he also got tricked by a guy on YouTube that he says is going to be on this. All this, these videos will be on Apple. Apple wants to buy this, but actually he lied and it wasn't on Apple. But he, in that video, he even said that he praises Kavizela and he thanks him. I, I'm, I might be wrong about this sterilization. Uh, he thanks him for, for showing him like, oh, what he did. Like it's just a whole bunch of dumb stuff. I might be wrong about that. Put in the comment section if I am. Um, it's just kind of crazy that all this stuff is happening and it's just, it's just weird. It's just. It's just weird to me. You see what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, bro. But at the same time, hey, he needs to keep his image up. So, like, I kind of understand why he did it. But let's keep moving on. Starting money and scams and all that. And once he started to text Logan Paul about that situation, Logan Paul was like, all right, bro, you already ruined me with this crypto zoo stuff. You've already made life hard for me. Mm. Now you're going after me for another one of my grifts and scams or whatever. And uh, uh, All right, bro. I, I got to get you off the internet, okay? Mm. I got more mm. enough money to bankroll you off the dang internet. That's yep. what I'm going to do. That's what happened. Yeah, So I agree. I agree. And to me, it's either A, the lawyers told uh, Logan Paul, or B, Logan Paul is paying them so much money, they just said, hey, you know what? We're just not going to say anything. Uh, let's just let's just not say a word. I mean, we see. Hey, 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 man. They took his money. They took his money. They're like, we're not going to. Like, he's right. They're like, they're like we're, we're going to take his money. We're going to take his 200K. He's paying us to do this real, real quick. We take us 200k because it's gonna take. We gotta be on the clock. We gotta start. You you call me. Oh, we gotta be on the clock, right? We're gonna take us 200k, and we're gonna sue the heck out of him. You see what I'm saying? We're not gonna tell him that what we did is wrong. We're gonna take his money, but at the same time, I don't think lawyers. I think they would tell him if they're premium lawyers. But we don't know. We don't know them. We don't. I don't know who these people are. You see what I'm saying? We we have no idea. But let's keep watching. See this, but you know, we're, we're just gonna fight out in court. Now the bottom line is. I actually think that CoffeeZilla's lawyers so far are doing a pretty good job. And I actually think that they're going to win this. I really do. I think that, the, I mean, I don't see, just think about it, guys. Why wouldn't the judge grant them this, this pause in the lawsuit? I mean, it's literally Texas state law. It literally says in the law 
you cannot sue somebody unless you request a clarification or a correction or, you know, some sort of retraction first. So I would have to think that Coffeezilla's lawyers are going to win this. I, okay. I would have to think so. I mean, it's mm. literally in the in the books. It's in the statute. So I it just is. think that that's awesome uh, what Coffeezilla's lawyers are doing. I hope that they get that granted to them because mm. they should. And if the lawsuit gets paused, then that would be good because then – Maybe Coffeezilla and Logan Paul can finally work things out behind the scenes. I don't think I don't think Coffeezilla is going to work things out with Logan Paul. I feel like he's going to say, "Hey, as soon as this lawsuit is done, I'm going to drop that video low key," because he's like, "You've been making me go through grief. My insurance won't even cover me." Blah blah blah. Like I don't know. I don't. I think Coffeezilla is a forgiving type, but at the same time, you've been making Coffeezilla go through a lot, a lot of pressure, a lot of drama, a lot of. A lot of toll because of his insurance and not covering, and he has to have people to buy T-shirts. It's just a whole bunch. I don't know. Hey, maybe they do hash it out. Maybe Coffeezilla does. Hey, man, let's. Let, I'm gonna show you my video. Blah blah blah, and I'm let's hash this out. You see what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't think he is. If I was Coffeezilla, I probably wouldn't because if you're suing me, you're doing all this stuff. You did something wrong. You just wanted to silence me. I want to be for the people. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna expose you, but. I'm not Coffeezilla. This is all theorization. You see what I'm saying? I don't know what Coffeezilla is thinking. I don't know what he's going to do. It's just like, if you're doing me dirty, bro, like, I don't know. And all I said was facts. You see what I'm saying? All Coffeezilla said was facts. And he said that certain things that he didn't know, he said, these are possibilities. These are not statements. They are not factual, but they might be. You see what I'm saying? They could be. That's what he's trying to say. They could be, but they're, they could be not. They could be, they could not be information. He said that during some of his videos. So like things that he knew though, he said that, I don't know. Yeah, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. It's all theorization. It's all me just spitting, like saying stuff. I don't know. I just think it's a little crazy. Let's finish the video. And work out some sort of, you know, solution where Logan Paul could just drop the lawsuit altogether. So I love where this lawsuit is going. I think this is very good. Uh, if this, if if the if the if they are able to get this pause in the lawsuit, and they are able to work something out, yeah. because remember this lawsuit was filed in like July, so that's only a few months. If they are able to do what they need to do to make sure that this lawsuit doesn't drag on for years, I will consider this a huge win for Coffeezilla mm. and a huge win for Coffeezilla's lawyer. So yeah, yep. just wanted to give you guys that update. Very interesting stuff. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. So shout out from Echoes from Above. You guys do not sub, turn your notifications, and like the video. Go like this video. I'm about to like it again. Make sure that you like it. Support the creators that I'm reacting to before me. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. This was kind of crazy. I just gave you guys my opinion. I think it's kind of insane that all this stuff is going down. But guys, if you guys have not sub, turn your notifications, and like to my video, please do that. And I'll see you guys in the next video as well. Shout out to uh, our Echoes from Above. Shout out to Echoes from Above. Appreciate you, brother.